This ain't gonna be easy, y'all. This ain't gonna be easy at all. It's a lot of noise out here, but I mean, this way it's gotta go. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get number 351 for September 19, 2015. This is the last day, last day of summer, last weekend of summer. It's really a wrap, but it's been a great summer, y'all. It really has. I don't know if y'all got a chance to do everything that y'all wanted to do. There were some things that I wanted to do that I didn't get completed this summer, but that's the way it is. I kind of want to talk to y'all about that today, and I want to talk to y'all about another thing. First of all, when it comes to the summertime, whenever the summertime ends, it's like, it's so, you, I don't know about y'all, but I get this feeling like, I feel like we have to start something new, because unlike the other, the other seasons, I think the summertime is the is the time of year when people really want to get something done. And I, I think un, unlike other seasons, at the end of the summer, you realize that you have to do something different. Kids go back to school at the end of the summer, so you have to get up that money for, for school clothes or whatever whatever it is that they, 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 they require. Oh, no, no, y'all good. Are you okay. shooting a video? Yeah. For what? Um, uh, I got a organization called Urgent Therapy with Sun. So I talk about I talk about like any type of issues that's going on in the hood, family, um, kids, you know, I mean, things like that. Today, what I'm talking about is um, is um, it's, you know, this is the last weekend of the summer. So we talking about how at the sun, at the end of the summertime, you get like this feeling because kids going back to school. You know, you got to start getting things together, and it seemed like from from the summertime. All the way until, until like, all the way up to the next year, all we concentrate on really is like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year. You know, but, but but at the end of the summer, you probably had things that you wanted to do during the summer that you didn't do. You know what I mean? You might want to go on that. You might have wanted to go on that vacation that you didn't go go on, or you might have wanted to do some things for your kids to get them ready for the new for the new year. Because even even. You, all right, think about it, like at the end of the I'm spring. Gonna, uh, all right, no. Nah. All right, y'all take care. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. So anyway, so check it out, right? So yeah, you know, like I was, like I was about to tell them, you know, think about it. At the end of the spring, the kids get out of school for the summer. So you know, we have to get them situated. Whether they're gonna go to camp, whether they're gonna go down south, or wherever your people are from, you know, to spend that that time. Or whether we're gonna get them get them together for 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 school because they might be going to another school even if they haven't graduated. So it's a whole lot of things that happen in the summertime that we have to take up and take care of. And we have to we have to sort of you know work those things out. Mister, I'm take a picture real quick. Take a picture? Yeah, that's real quick. Um, I'm doing a video. How I'm gonna take the picture? No, oh. Huh? Oh, never mind. So so yeah. Yo, the things I gotta put up with when I do these videos. I ain't. So, anyway, anyway. See, but that's indicative of what's going on in our society nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna let that ride. The other thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about today, besides what happens at the end of the summer, is doing the right thing. You know, I was, I was, uh, I post a lot online. And, you know, people write back to me. Sometimes they they, they put up um, comments and they, they thank me for the daily go get them and things like that. And one 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 comment really struck me hard today. It was it was saying how maybe a post that I put up don't get a whole lot of likes and comments and things like that. But they were saying that if you put up something ratchet, some cool shit or whatever, then it would get a whole bunch of likes. And I thought about that for a minute. And I realized, man, you know what? When you believe in something, when you know that you're doing the right thing, you can't do that for popularity. You can't do that because, because you want people to um, say thank you or you want praise. You got to do the right thing because you think that the right thing is the right thing to do. And any other reason that you do the right thing other than that for, then that kind of takes away from it being the right thing. 
So I want to let y'all know something about this movement. This Urban Therapy with Sun movement. We do these daily go get because we know that people, our people in particular, need to be motivated in order to be something great. Because each and every one of us are something great. And you got to be able to see the greatness in yourselves the same way that you see greatness in others. And when I say greatness, I'm not talking about because you can, you can play basketball real good or because you can play football or because you, you're a great actor or actress and all of, all of those things are good attributes. But the greatest thing that you can ever do in the world is inspire somebody else to be better than they thought that they were before. Because that, that rolls over and rolls over and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. You know what I mean? That's, that's the kind of infection that you want for your people. You want them to be infected with that knowledge of themselves that they can do better, that they can have better, and that they can learn more, and that they can teach more. And if that happens, it don't matter how much money you make. It don't matter, it don't matter who pats you on the back. It don't matter how many likes you get or, or, or any of those accolades. Money, all of that kind of stuff. You got to do the right thing because you know the right thing is the right thing to do. You do it for the love of your people. You do it for the love of yourself. You do it for the love of your family. You do, the, you do it for the love of your, your friends. You do it because love is in your heart. And you want to make sure that that comes out to the people that you are uh, dealing with anywhere you go. You spread love. You show love. Pounds show love. No father. No doubt. And when I say no father, y'all know what I'm talking about. Next weekend. Next weekend is the Take the Fall event part two. Today was part one. Shout out to Cheryl Hudson. Shout out to Bobby Hill CC. Shout out to Monica Davis. Shout out to her, her um to, to uh, Cheryl's Cheryl's um, um um little grandson. Shout out to everybody who supports this movement and especially the people like them who come out to these events trying to get our minds and our bodies together and trying to make this thing pop trying to make sure that we take things to the next level, trying to make sure that we start with ourselves and project that out to the rest of the world. Because that's what this Urban Therapy with Sun Movement is all about. We fix ourselves and then we're going to go and help fix anybody else that, that, that needs repair. If they're willing to accept it, we're willing to give it. That's how we're getting it down. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. Go out there. Don't look for the praise of your people. Don't look for money. Don't look for none of that kind of stuff. If you really want to improve yourself, if you really want to improve people out, out there, you do it because it's in here. Because that ain't, there ain't no other reason, from reason to do it. By the way, man, that Take the Fall event, that, that first one we had today was monumental. Straight up and down. We don't worry about the numbers. We worry about the content. When you go read a good book, you don't judge the book about uh, you know how many pages it has in it. You judge it by what's in that thing, the information, how 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 um how the information holds you to keep turning the pages, keep turning the pages. That's what it's about. All right, man, I'm out of here. Got a little cookout to go to. I'm gonna upload this video in a minute. And um, love is love, baby. You know what I'm saying? And yo, join this movement. Move this movement. This movement is moving, it's moving fast, it's moving in the right direction, and we want y'all to move right with it. UrbanTherapyWithSun.com. Go to the website, register with the website, get down with the website, get down with the movement. Let's do this thing, y'all. Alright.